Whether you're a new blogger or experienced website owner, it's really important to master Google Search Console. If you don't know Search Console to develop by Google, which can exactly tell you what's wrong with the website, why website page is not getting indexed, and it's really, really important for everybody to know this tool. Because this tool is free tool and developed by Google, so Google can give exact the reason about your website performance, why it's not performing or why it is performing and how you can find the keywords, all those stuff, really important tool. You can get a lot of ranking tracking, you can get indexing, technical health data, security issues and also in case your ranking it drop or traffic drop, then also this tool is very important. Okay, let's talk about important thing, what you need to master in Google Search Console. Okay, so first of all, when you log in inside the Google Search Console, you can see this overview tab. Overview tab here, you can click on performance, you can click on full report here and then from here you can see how many impressions your website got, which means that how many times your website was appeared in the search result, the pages from your website. For example, somebody searched for a specific term, if your website was shown there or not. For example, you can see this website is shown 6,000 times in last three months and total 2,062 times people clicked on my website and then every CTS were four. In your case, it might be different, but it's really important to understand what's happening. And also here you can see the queries what people are searching for when your website was shown. For example, when somebody searched for blogger theme, 790 times my website was shown, but nobody clicks. When somebody searched for my website, like directly let's create website.com, 71 times, 45 times it got clicked. It was me who was searching for a website to create this kind of videos. But yes, you need to understand this kind of report, performance, the click rate, which pages got most of the clicks, which countries, which did website the most, you can see all the data here, which devices the website was accessed. The second most important thing would be here, click here on pages. It's really important guys that you see all the pages, why they're not being indexed. A lot of people complain that the website page is not being indexed. You can exactly see why they're not being indexed. You can see the issues with them. And every time you can see issue, you can click on the issue and all the pages of your website, they'll be shown here. And when you click on this glass icon, for example, this icon, you can see why they're not being indexed. You can see this is the issue page is not indexed, alternate page is proper canonical tag. And no reference sitemap detected. So when you go to index and pages, you will see the issues here. For example, page is redirect. I have redirect on this page. That's why they're not being indexed. So we'll see exact issue why your page is not being indexed. A lot of people, they always get confused. They say, okay, my page is not being indexed on Google. Guys, everything is written here. You can see this report and know why page is not being indexed. I have detailed video on all these topics, why page is not being indexed. So you can watch this video and link in the description. Log into Search Console account, see what issue you got, and then go to the description, see the related video I already created on this all these issues. The next thing would be sitemap, guys. Make sure you have a valid sitemap of your website added on Google Search Console. Status should be success here. All the pages should present on the sitemap. It's really important for website indexing. If you don't have a page in the sitemap, it might be problematic. By default, you're using any of the nice SEO plugins like Rank Map, Yoast SEO, AIU SEO, any plugin, they will be indexed in sitemap. But just to make sure, always come here, click here, and then see all the status is success here. Next point would be Core Web Vitals. Guys, on left side, this is very important. This Core Web Vitals is really important to know how your website is performing for speed, for mobile experience, for accessibility, and a lot of other stuff. So when you come here, you can see 18 poor URLs. If you have so many poor URLs on your website, this will be issues that your website will not be indexed on Google. Not complete website, but some pages on the website, and you can click always on open report, and you can see what is the issue. You can see LCP is the issue here. A lot of people face issues with LCP. I already created a very nice video on this topic and watch that video linked in the description. But it's really important to master, to understand the core web vitals if you want to compete and want to bring your website to the number one page of Google rankings. And also you can pair Bing Webmaster tool along with Google Webmaster tool, get more traffic on your website. And also you should use Google Analytics tool, which is another very important tool that you should master if you're a blogger or a website owner. I recommend you to monitor your website performance weekly. And also your pages, you should monthly, you should audit here that what's happening. If some pages are not getting indexed, why they're not getting indexed. And also security manual actions, another important point, you should monitor this every month that if there's manual actions or security issues on your website or not. A lot of people, they don't know about security issues and they have virus on the website. Complete website got delisted. So it's really important to monitor your website. I don't forget to download my free Google Search Console audit checklist in the description. If you get any value from this video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, I really appreciate it. And check this video step by step to know everything about Google Search Console.